Carrier screening is a type of genetic test that can tell you whether you carry a gene for certain genetic disorders. When testing is done before or during pregnancy, it allows you to find out the chance of having a child with a genetic disease. A carrier is a person who has only one gene for a disorder. Carriers are typically not affected and don't know they are a carrier. For some conditions, it takes two genes for a person to have the disorder. Carrier screening is a voluntary decision. You can choose to have carrier screening or you can choose not to. There's no right or wrong choice. Carrier screening is a simple blood test done on the mother. If it shows that you are a carrier, more testing can be done to determine the risk of your child having the disease. Commonly, this would include testing your partner. What are the chances of having a child with a genetic disorder? If you're positive and your partner is positive, there is a 25% chance that your child will get the disease. There is a 50% chance, or one in two, that your children will be carriers of the disorder, just like you. If only you are a carrier, there is a 50% chance that your child will also be a carrier. Center for Women's Health offers several carrier screening tests like cystic fibrosis and spinal muscular atrophy. What is cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis, or CF, is one of the most common genetic diseases. More than 10 million Americans are CF carriers. CF is a life-threatening disease that affects mainly the lungs and the digestive system. However, other body parts, the pancreas, reproductive tract, and your skin can also be affected. There currently is no cure for cystic fibrosis and the average lifespan of all affected people is 37 years. However, there are treatments available that can help people with CF feel better and live longer. What is the risk of being a CF carrier? If you have a family history of cystic fibrosis, your carrier risk can be as high as two and three your ethnicity can also affect your risk of being a CF carrier. Another test offered by Center for Women's Health is spinal muscular atrophy. Spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA, affects the control of muscle movements. This disease leads to weakness of the muscles for activities such as crawling, walking, sitting up, and head movement. In severe cases of SMA, it can affect breathing or swallowing. Many children with SMA show symptoms in infancy, and the disease can result in death before the age of two. Some children with SMA develop muscle weakness and other symptoms later on in childhood. Each year, SMA affects one out of every 10,000 newborns. About one in 47 people is a carrier for SMA. Some frequently asked questions. Should I still get the test if I already have a healthy child or children? You or your baby's father may still be carriers even if you already have a healthy child or children. If you and your baby's father are both carriers, there is a one in four chance with each pregnancy that you'll have a baby with a disorder. What if I don't have a family history of this genetic condition? Knowing that you have a family history, either a relative with a condition or a family member who's a carrier puts you at a greater risk of being a carrier. However, even if you don't have a family history, you can still be a carrier and pass along an abnormal gene that causes the disease. Is there an age requirement for this test? No, age has nothing to do with whether you can be a genetic carrier and have a baby with cystic fibrosis or spinal muscular atrophy. Does my partner need to be tested? If your test results are positive, your baby's father will require the same carrier screening test. I'm already pregnant. What is the benefit of this test for me and my baby? Knowing in advance that your baby has a genetic condition can make a world of difference to you and your baby's quality of life. It gives you time to prepare emotionally and financially and learn as much as you can about the disease and make arrangements for healthcare services that can improve your baby's quality of life. Does my insurance plan cover carrier screening tests? Insurance plans differ in their coverage. Our staff will assist you to understand your cost. 